Hello, my name is Dr. Alice Miller and I am a, um, an alumni of Sherwood Forest Camp. My camp name was Tweedy and I am currently the board president. Hello, my name is Alexis Newsom. I am also an alumni of Sherwood Forest. I am the current camp director and I am a current camp parent and... My daughter. <laughs> We want to kick off Black History Month by acknowledging the painful parts of our history so we can be more celebratory of what we are fostering in the community and in our programming with our campers. The reality is Sherwood Forest was not always an inclusive space. Correct, yes. Sherwood Forest Camp came into existence as a result of the work of the Park and Playground Association of St. Louis during the Depression of the 1920s and 30s. During the planning, two camps were formed, Camp Sherwood Forest in Quiver River State Park and Camp Derricott for our Negro children also in Quiver River State Park. When Sherwood Forest began its camp program in 1937, it was racially segregated, mm -hmm. only for white children. Beginning in 1954, Sherwood Forest began to include African American youth in its programs. This is about acknowledgement, not to disparage our organization. We are verbalizing our past and truth does not mean that Sherwood Forest has not or does not continually strive to be intentional and have a meaningful impact on our camper community. Yes, it is vital we start this month by not omitting <clears throat> any part of our past so we can continue to move forward in a healthy and honest way. Knowing our history is a critical piece to making sure our narrative is always inclusive of the truth. In moving forward with the inclusion of the truth, there will be some changes on the horizon for Sherwood Forest. For many years, Sherwood has had staff of color, and now I am the first camp director of color that Sherwood Forest has ever had going into our 85 year history. Representation matters so much for our campers and change truly starts at the top. Yes, through the past years of this country's racial reckoning, we have formed a diversity, inclusion, diversity equity and inclusion committee that helps to shape and make our organization's decisions and bring new perspectives that are representative of our campers and their families. We are making intentional shifts in programming to make sure our leadership campers are exposed to a broader horizon of career and passion pathways forged by black, indigenous, and people of color. Also, another action that we are very passionate about, and we as an organization, is the renaming of long-standing facilities on our camp property to align with the desire to be the leaders in social justice and equity work. For example, this includes renaming our caretaker house, which is currently called the Big House. This is synonymous with plantation ownership and federal penitentiaries, and it is harmful language for our campers. In addition, we are in communication with tribal leaders of regional indigenous tribes to ensure that Sherwood Forest gets our land acknowledgement correct, it is respectable, and it is not cultural appropriation. Yes. We are saying this publicly because we want to be held accountable to be the proactive youth development agency that does not just talk the talk, but we walk the walk. We understand our community may have questions about our changes, or want to talk further about black history and its roots at Sherwood Forest. Please feel free at any time to email us at voice at sherwoodforeststl.org. That is voice, V-O-I-C-E, at sherwoodforeststl.org. Yes, we are looking forward to implementing these changes down at summer camp for this summer and through our organization to benefit our campers moving forward and to benefit our organization moving forward. Yes, yes. Ubuntu. Thank you so much.